Hello and welcome back, my friends, to our Valheim Hardcore Survival. Last time, we beat the Elder. It was a bit of a headache. We died a couple times, but we are back. We're going to come back stronger. So we are playing on Hardcore, but we also have the, the, uh, the portals still unlocked. We have... A couple little things I'll check the settings up on the screen but what I would like to do for this episode is build a new base because I'm kind of worried about the new raid that's gonna happen when it does happen we I want to be prepared and this house has been good it's been good don't get me wrong but it's gonna get destroyed if trolls come along and I think I think it's the trolls that happen after Elder, isn't it? So, or skeletons, I can't remember. But either one, it's going to get destroyed. We need a moat or some sort of defense around this. And I would also like it to be a little higher with some some archer towers, sort of uh, like a walkway going around, maybe some archer towers. So that's what we're going to focus on for this episode. It's been a little while. I've been playing No Man's Sky quite a bit. I'm thinking uh, it will be... New base will be around here somewhere. I might run over here and just check what that area looks like. In the meantime, I just want to say thank you for 500 subscribers. I, that's really awesome. Like, um, I think currently we're on 510. And that's... Um, that's like, uh, it makes me so happy. So thank you very much, uh, each and every one of you. So it looks like this is the opening up here. So there's a little village, and we can make the most of this. Well, we I mean, we could still live in that one while we build the house, but if we had our bed spawn point here, then this would get raided and we can run off home. We're going to build here, have a moat like this going around. Oh, we still have the... Oh, we still have to pop this on, actually. So I don't think we'll get raided. I feel like until we put this on, we might not get raided by trolls and things. So I'm not sure how that works. We really, what I might do off camera for a bit is farm up... A, actually, we have a lot of wood. We might have to craft a cart and, and roll it over here. Just filled with all the wood. And then that way we can bring what we have... And then just keep topping up as we go. But of course I'm going to edit it so that you don't see me chopping down lots of wood for so long. Alright, we are back. Let's plonk that there. So we have... We have quite a bit of wood to start off with. But I do want to just make sure that it's full... And then I don't have to worry uh, for, you know, too much time. So I'm just going to chop down a bunch of these trees and fill this up. And I'll be right back. Oh, my axe. Okay, I've realized I haven't got a forge with me to repair my bronze axe. So we're just going to make a forge. We'll go back to our base, make a forge. And then we're going to... Yeah, bring that back and just set up a little repair station in there. So I'll be back again once I make a forge and I will get rested and dry. Okay, so I've broken my forge. So we can just bring that with us. And that is pretty much all we need. We're just going to make a camp and a bed. That'll be fun when we come to do that. But first I want to get a proper... Not not a fortress, but something more decent to defend for when we get raided. And also, I saw a YouTube video about about building up walls, you know. So I'm going to give that a crack. Either make a, a moat or make walls. I haven't decided which one to do yet. Uh, I already placed down my workbench, and we can just... We can just place that there. Does that work? Yep, that works. And then we may as well, while we're here, right, we may as well, um, let's put all this. It's not urgent, because we're going to knock this down anyway. So 
I'm gonna like completely smoke us out. We should be able to still, yeah, cause the smoke will go underneath there. Cool. Alright, perfect. Let's pop those in there. So I'm gonna keep chopping down trees in the meantime. Hello? So, yeah, I'm gonna chop down a bunch of trees, fill this up, which doesn't need too much more. Three more stacks, and then we'll start designing some sort of house around here. Alright, we've made it back. I've now got the hoe, so we need to level out quite a quite a large section, probably if we just start here and go around in a circle and just start flattening all this area so it's the same height. And of course that's sort of it's probably gonna be end up being in the way. But we're gonna start off with a couple posts, you know to make the ground so we know that it is going to be flat and I might just place posts every second and that way we keep the integrity cool now I'm thinking here about windows we may just have one two wide window in the middle section so I'm gonna keep it uh, one two three six long and then coming across here I don't know about this yet oops and we're gonna have a double wide front door in the middle and yep I knew he was I knew that was gonna get in the way let's just place it back there so we're gonna have a double wide door in the middle but I kind of want it to be to go in so I want steps going up to it which would look quite cool I think so if we had we had it like this and then we'll have a double front door coming inside the build yep that, that sounds good to me and then we'll carry on make it exactly even have to be quick with this so it doesn't break while you're building it cool I'm doing the big ones because I just can't be bothered risking, like, you know, a small one not being big enough. <laughs> That's what she... <clears throat> anyway, so, alright. Let's go four across there. Like so. Another... Oops. Another two across here. Let's just get the hoe again. And I'm just going to use a small one there. And we'll go one, two, three. Whoops. This is probably gonna break now. Not if I do that. And another one. Bang. Perfect. Now I don't know if I want another entrance at the back. I mean we ah oh, we may as well, right? And then we could have two entrances into the yeah, I think that could be quite nice. So let's go like that. Let's place our stairs. We could make this a little bigger, but I mean, it's okay for now. Oof, we're going to get smoked in there. Let's repair that. Something like this. See, that's too short. There we go. Okay. So there's going to be a front door, a back door. The rest doesn't really, it doesn't matter what side at the moment we do that one. Probably, but it doesn't matter right now. We're going to make it pretty symmetrical anyway. Um, so we may as well, from here, we may as well fill the floor in. And also, if you lift these up a little bit like that, when it comes to us unlocking stone, you know, we can delete these and we can make it stone. So the bottom in it is like a base of stone and it looks really nice. So it's always good to, yeah, to do that. But also it's just easier to make it flat and the ground doesn't poke through. Now, we will have, we're going to do the crisscross technique just because it's, it's a little bit better looking on the eye. You don't have to do this. Some people don't like it. I personally quite like it. It's just a small little 
small little touch. Alright, so we've just finished the floor. The, the nice texture going crisscross like that, it just brings a bit more life into it. Next step, we're going to start placing some of these around. We'll place them on all the main corners for now. So all these corners here on the doorway. But also, by the way, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe if I can, lifting the ground up in here. So for instance, if I just break these four for now, if I can get stone and, you know, lift this up, so I'm, I could just try that first just to see what it looks like. I'll just quickly get some stone. Okay, so I picked up some stone. Oh, jeez, I hit the wrong. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. No worries. Okay, so that's number six. So I don't know exactly how, but... Oh. Okay, cool. This pretty much worked how I wanted it to. But I wanted a, wanted a bit more on that side, but that's okay. That doesn't look too bad. It'll be a bit of an eyesore going through, but... Hey, it can be a little feature, right? Normally, I like to make my builds uh, with this 2 meter post and then a 1 meter post on top. But because of how high I've built this, I think we're going to have to go 2. So again, just going around doing all these corners. That should be fine. It works out pretty well by the looks of it. Let's go across like that. So this one here is a bit too intense. So we're going to just put one in the middle there as well. It's a bit stronger now. And make sure that I've got... Okay, I need to make sure that we've got one in the ground as well. Cool. So we got one in the ground as well. We'll do the same on this side. There we go. It's another morning. I just needed to do this last part here, going across, there we go, and I was looking at this here, we might need to put some going down there, but that would be nice for some windows, so perhaps we can go like this instead, I think that would be better, and then we can get some nice windows in there, there we go, so we've got that the same on each side, so the doors will go in here, but obviously they are going to be yay high. We're going to have it so they open like this. And we'll just place in. Mm, should we have it this way or that way? We'll put some texture on it and put it that way. Put some beams across like that. Do the same to the other side. So, so yeah, it's going to open up like this. There's not too much room because of the this big stone in the middle, but that's okay. As long as, yeah, so this is kind of, so we might leave this open, this back side, just because there's not really too much room, and this is going to be the, the back garden, so we can just come in and out of here, but this, there's still room to run in and out on this side when they are both open, you know, so we can run out there, or if we're coming in, we can run in this way, so this is going to be the front entrance. We honestly don't even need doors when we have this moat going around, but aesthetically it's pleasing, so yeah. All right, let's keep them open that way so they're not in the way. I think we'll start on maybe the windows. I normally do this cool design, and I think we may do it again here. So if we get some of that. Yeah, something like that. Kind of simple. Let's place these in. Once these are in, we're going to place these backwards for a change. Yeah, it's a little bit more texture, you know, with the backwards walls. So I think that looks that looks decent. 
and then you can do this if we can get the right we might have to go inside to do it here yeah just like something like that bring it across this is normally what I'll do after you know it's like a final detail but may as well show you it's a part of the window design that I like so that's cool and then if you want extra details you can add in whatever you want underneath to make it look like it's being held up by a post or whatnot so I'm gonna have a window there I think I'm gonna have a window there a window on each one okay so we've finished putting all the windows up and I've also just put up just walls just solid walls going around and what you can do if you want is if you wanted to you know you can go like this and start putting textures crosses and whatnot I'm gonna leave it for now because I want to do that right at the end we're gonna start on the second story and I was also just thinking now um, I might end up changing these windows out because I don't know if I want windows this big if we were to get raided and you know shot through the window by skeletons with arrows and things even though we're gonna have a moat they still might be able to shoot me through these windows so I might change that could even just put some posts in as like a grid or something you know like make it like diamond shape or whatever but we will leave it like that for now looks like I need to go grab some more food so we will do that and I'll come back and we'll start doing the second story okay so to begin with this next part just make some temporary stairs going up these aren't gonna stay here um, and we will just start putting a floor in again and we could have it matching actually underneath it looks really good when the beams are going across so I think we're gonna just do that have them because it looks a lot better when they're doing the same thing not crisscross when you look from underneath okay so we might be able to we haven't unlocked it yet but when we do we might be able to get a hearth on this and put it sideways but I'm not too sure yet so for now you know we're gonna have to just stick a fireplace like this it's not gonna be it's not gonna be perfect let's go get some stone Okay, so it's kind of like a, we haven't got the fire <laughs> spread on because if we did this would be a disaster but I don't think it's smoking out the bottom is it no it's not which is epic get out of here anyway get out of here you didn't even know I was there idiot all right so this is not smoking out the bottom which is awesome we could probably uh, gonna say we can make this a little feature you know but I don't know if it's worth if it's gonna look any better okay so there's that and then if we get the this one go like this yeah we'll we'll keep it like that and it also will help the structure with all this so that's awesome no it looks good I like it Let's see what it looks like from the top again. Cool. Except from these bits sticking up, but that's okay. Not too much of an issue. Could even do this. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. And then when we get... Oh, we can break these, actually. We could have made this wider, to be honest. I don't know why I have all fires in there, now that I think about it. Because two would probably do the same job. And I'm taking them. Oh, sh okay. Right, actually, we need to fix this. I think I was doing too many, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just do one. Perfect. It's the same job. I don't know why I was doing four different fires. But that there. Once we, you know 
do like this kind of thing. We can have a big chimney going up through the middle. That's going to look really cool. And then we can still have our bedroom on the second floor up here. So, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to go chop down more trees. Fill up that cart again. And I'll be right back. Alright. We've filled up another cart full of wood. Drop that down there. So let's get started again on the on the uh, second floor now. So um, let's just get all the way up. There we go. So yeah, like I was saying, this is gonna be a nice chimney. This doesn't need repairing, does it? No. Um this here yes yeah. so this is a second floor we could bring it out a little bit that could look nice should we do that so like if we went like this and brought it out one meter on each side so if we go underneath it sticks through a little bit but we can bring it out another level and it can look quite nice when you do that uh let me just grab this one so like we can make it pop out a little bit more for the second story yeah i am going to do that because otherwise it's gonna look too flat going up and i don't really want that so let's say we bring these across right we don't necessarily have to join these we can though there's nothing hurting it yeah okay i might do that then so if we brought that across it will stick out inside a little bit, but I think it looks really nice. So let's go around. For some reason, the game doesn't like you putting two posts together like this. So you have to use one post and one of these to be able to do that. This will make the build a little bit more confusing if anyone's following with me. Oops. If anyone's following, I mean, just take your time. But it will make it a little bit more confusing. But it's going to look a lot cooler than just having it flat. So yeah, you can fill in these gaps just with the small ones of these. Have them all going the same way. Because once we break those beams, it will look weird if it's different. So for instance... Oh, we don't actually, we didn't need to place those, now that I think about it. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need those little ones, because all we need is the angled ones that go down. Be careful not to destroy these two. So, I'll just break that. So yeah, let's just bring this across. Bang, bang. I mean, I guess we do need this to be able to build it first. Then we can just break it after. Um, going across here. I haven't decided that part yet. So let's just stick to what we're doing here. I might just make that come right to there. Go up like this. On the old ladders these ladders don't make any sense like they're not even ladders you we hop up them <laughs> so now we can break those and then if oh my thing just broke as well whoops we can make this the walkway because i was going to make a walkway so i could shoot you know bow and arrow at the enemies it will make the house a little bit smaller but imagine just for a moment so if it's like this, 
like that. So if we had this is a bedroom, the other one storage room. Downstairs, crafting and kitchen. Perfect. What else do we need? And then this can just be a walkway. We can shoot. We can shoot all the way around here. That sounds pretty cool if you ask me. And I think that's what we're going to do. Let's delete these again. Like I said, this isn't really a tutorial. This is, I'm just playing around here. On the spot. This is what I do before I make any tutorial video. I make it and then I remake it on video for you guys. And it's not easy. So, so yeah, I could have this walkway going over there. The only thing is there does need to be a roof over this actually because otherwise it will um it will get too weathered in the rain. Yeah, that looks epic actually. That looks really cool. And this will be the walkway. We can have a little a little roof going over the top of this. And then it can oh, ah, yeah. I've got a really good idea now. All right. I figured something out, finally. And there is a storm, which is perfect when we're trying to build. What we're going to have to do here... Is this thingy, whatever I just made. Uh, actually, if we can do that... Maybe that will hold? I don't know. He goes nothing. Is that going to hold? It looks like it's holding. That's red. No. Okay. It might be holding. And then... Basically that one on top okay and if we delete those two hopefully that doesn't do anything so let's recreate that over here so what I did was two little posts like that and then we're bringing three up oh Okay, so it did break, but we might be able to fix that by adding that. Let's try. Let's try that. Okay, so yeah, one, two, three, and then we're adding pieces like this. onto that and then from there oh yeah okay so from there we got that one we have that one because you see guys it's got to cover it's got to cover all this so that was the hard part so it should be fine now So it went like that, and then I've got these two going up like that. And then we bring, it's quite fiddly, but it works, so that's good. And then if we bring this one in, like that. Delete those. Delete those, delete those. And then we should be able to place a corner piece here. Attach two of these to it. One there. One there. And another corner piece going up. If it'll let me find the... There we go. Awesome. Playing around, but we got it in the end. 
and then if we just maybe bring supports up like that it doesn't look super pretty though does it but it works oh but it doesn't work let's see again so that should hold so this one doesn't want to hold where'd my where'd the wood just go okay so that's the main problem so we might just have to place another one like that but then are these gonna like get in the way mm, not really if we're shooting like this no they don't get in the way down after and see what it looks like but i'm semi-confident it's gonna look okay <laughs> that's the thing with this game it's like you have something in your head but it won't work if the physics of the game don't agree with it. Alright. So yeah, it's not the prettiest. I think we need to keep that attached. Probably just to be safe. But this is good. So, so if that runs up like that. And then this runs across. Here. All right. <clears throat> the next. Okay, so now. That yeah, so we're gonna have to do these two anyway. Nope. It's gonna look really cool, and it's gonna be super handy for the raids as well. I think if we just do this again. Let's just delete all that. Cool. Come on. Okay, let's just do it like that for now. That's fine. So, okay, so let's see. So if we had, we won't use backwards on this one just to separate that style. See, if we had stone unlocked, this would be a lot easier, but we do not. So we have to make do. That's all right. So just same again on this side, like this. Yeah, that's touching, so it's still, <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to get away with anything else there. But these are green, so we can make the most of these, right? So let's bring these up. Better go get some more. And this might be a fairly long video, but I'm not speedrunning this one. Now these are green, so we may as well make the most out of these, giving us some good durability, right? Because that'll help with this one. I imagine that'll help with that one. We'll just connect it like that, just because. If we do this, will it help? Will that help anything? Just do that. I feel like that's just gonna break, but let's see what happens. We may just be able to do that, and that looks kind of cool. And it works. It's not breaking yet. Let me break those. We could probably just close this off. Oh shit, How, why did that break? Oh no, this is bad. Okay, let's put these back. And we'll put some here just to be safe. Maybe if we connect these like that. Come on, why are you doing that? Why? Okay, that might be better. Didn't break instantly this time anyway. So now let's do this. I could be a structural engineer, honestly, I swear I could. 
<laughs> we'll do that for aesthetics. Looks nice. And then now we have to do all that on this side. Uh, okay. So what happens is, you know, we're in here, we're doing storage, whatever. We get raided. Then we come out here. You know, we'll have a moat as well. And the roof does kind of get in the way, but we're still able to pretty much shoot quite a, a range of different uh, distances. So like right up close, even though they won't get here, but yeah. So it's cool. I think it looked nice. It looks nice, I mean. Let's have a look from far away. See what it looks like. Yeah, that's cool. It's kind of like Japanese or something. <laughs> it's kind of got that, like, yeah, that shape to it. We're going to carry that across here. The chimney will go up through the middle, but it's probably going to be a mess, just like <laughs> how I was trying to figure it out. But yeah, all right. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back once that's done. All right, guys, so we finally finished the top. Um, eventually. And now we are just going to make some stairs going up. Hopefully this doesn't mess with the, you know, durability of the, uh, the roof. Oh, this thing is in the way. Um, oh, and that is the walkway. So that is not going to work. Oh, you are joking. Oh no, it's trolls as well. I don't want you guys to attack yet. I'm not done making the base. Oh, okay. It's fine. We should be able to take him. It's only two. I say that, but I have no idea. This is, this is crazy. So the other trolls left, I think. That one's down. Oh no, he's still here. He's still here. Let's get some stamina back. We need to eat, actually. Come on, Matt. I've been building the space to fight you, and I don't even need it. Huh? Yeah, see so you looking. You're not leaving, are you? It's just me and you, mate. Where's your friend gone? Okay, he's acting a bit strange. I'm right here, buddy. Stay away from my base until I get that moat up. You're finished, mate. You're done. You. Well, that was, yeah, not expected just yet. I thought I had a bit more time than that. But, obviously, the raids are random. So, where was all the other troll? Is this it? Yeah, okay. Perfect. So, we got ten more troll hide. Cool. All right, now, I need to fix. It's so foggy. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry if it's foggy, guys, but I'm not doing a building tutorial. I could wait, but we're not. <laughs> yeah, but we're not. Okay. So the inside of the house is going to be in this area. What if we do the stairs coming up? No, that won't work. Let's just bring them down from there. Where does that leave us? Okay, cool. That shouldn't affect the stability of anything. I hope not. Alright, sweet. So that's the stairs. And we can go in from the side here. Make our way up. Okay, this is not 
That's not very good. I don't know what the sound was that I just made. I mean, it works, but it doesn't look good, you know? Um, we might have to just close this off all the way. Like that. Destroy this one, destroy that and that. And if we add a flat here, floor, oh, some steps here. Don't know which way to put this, but it doesn't really matter. Very good. And then just for the looks, just so it looks realistic, I guess we can, we can do that. Kind of looks like it's being held up by a post. And then we can probably just close that off here. Yeah. That looks decent. And then we'll put another one here. And of course, every staircase needs a land rail. Or a guard rail, whatever. However, you guys would like to call it. So just like that. Oh, I need a bit more wood and I only need a tiny bit more wood too and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's nothing left but I will quickly smash down some... Can you not? A couple trees here. Like we don't need much just to finish this last bit. And I'll just finish the chimney before we end this this episode here but let's just do the land rail might be just fine like that otherwise it might be too much you know trying to squeeze in that looks cool or shall i just no nah, it needs it otherwise it looks a bit funny yeah that's fine all right so now we need to get back on the roof and sort that out. I might just go chop down just a few more trees and things so I can um, get back up there. And I want to sort out these windows. I think it will be quite... Hey, hey, get out of here. Sheesh. And you. Right, I'm just going to chop a couple trees. So we can finish the top and then we might end that first episode of the house right here but man this looks awesome it's kind of like japanese looking like with the yeah no i'm quite proud of this one i like it a lot just as we're running in it looks epic actually i really love the roof design i really like it okay let's get up there this should be good enough. What we may as well do here is square this off. So it's got like a nice trim, you know. And then we can probably just add one of these on the top, can't we? So if we have if we have it going that way and that way. And then like this. That should work, right? Would this look a bit funny with those on top? That kind of looks nice. The rain might get... Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know how this is going to work in the rain now, but... Okay. That's fine. Come here, yeah. You're not allowed in my house. Alright, and then we will just close off. We need to close off this fire. Let's put a bit more wood in there. We'll make it so it's yay high. That's a pretty decent... Oh, I should have just... Put a bit of trim around that. Around that. Perfect, so all the smoke should go straight up into the chimney. I hope, anyway. 
and then yeah we can put our where is it put this stuff over that like that and then if the cauldron went here that would probably still work okay let's I really want to make now you know what's perfect here like a diamond window would be awesome just a simple diamond window just like this perfect we could stick you know we could put this through the middle Yeah, that's kind of cool too, actually. Very nice. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. So that is pretty much it for this episode. Next time, we are going to be transporting all of our goods into here. We can probably put this workbench inside now. Just for the time being, we can plonk him there. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So we'll, um, we'll leave it like this for now. I might do this, but off camera and just put just some going across the bottom like this. And then um, this will be ready for a thumbnail. <laughs> cool. Alright, so that's it for this one. Make sure to catch me in the next episode. We'll be decorating the interior. Or we might be making the moat first and then do the interior. I don't know. But at the moment, I am happy with this. And I need to take a break. So <laughs> I'll be back in the next one. Hope you guys enjoy. And peace.